Welcome to a whole new series on the channel featuring tons of product, tons of Yugi tubers with an £80 budget every month, and a tournament against these Yugi tubers. Welcome to the Sealed Only League. I'm going to start the timer now because I should have done that already, like a fool. Um, <laughs> right, so uh, how, uh, how many off the top? Uh, uh, five. How many off the top? Uh, let's go five as well for you two. Everybody's doing five, really. What the hell? I thought people were going to say like 10, 15, something like that. <laughs> okay, uh, so draw this. Put the top five down. And uh, Hyrule? Yep. Yeah. Cool. Uh huh. I got five. That's not the best. You got what, six. six. Damn it! That's the first dice roll I've lost. All right, so you're going first okay. or second? I'll be going first. Best of luck. Best of luck, duelist. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so it's not the best of openings. I mean, you're playing Shadol, if I remember correctly, and I know you already know what I'm playing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you went between two things, Christian Turbo and Counter Fairies. I lost him. Alright, so what? Let's drop a turn. Alright, so we're going to start off by normal summoning Power Angel Valkyrie. Is that fine? Oh! Yeah, uh, that's fine. Then I'm going to activate Sanctuary in the Sky. So whenever yep. any. If I control a fairy or monster, all battle damage I take is zero. Then I'm going to activate Guiding Ariadne in the Pendulum Zone. I'm going to set three cards face down, and yep. I will pass turn to you. Uh, in the end phase, or at bit superpolarization, discarding Shadol Beast's cost. Oh, okay, that's fine. And I will fuse my Reshadol Wendy and your Might Monster yep. into Elshadol Contracts. Okay. Uh, chain it one contract, chain it two Wendy. That is fine. Super polymerization, the biggest threat in this deck. <laughs> oh, you you have no idea. I played against Salty um, last match. Mm -hmm. uh, I had five super polymerization results against me, so I'm going oh, wow. to set against Barter. Uh, you mean a hedgehog? It, it wasn't. Sorry, a hedgehog. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Um, and I'll send a Squamata. Okay. Uh, the Squamata effect. Uh, Squamata effect is fine. I'll send. Dragon and Dragon is going to then activate. Uh, how many would you like off the top? Uh, five again. Five. 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 Dragon is going to pop or target the one next to the Guardian Arrow Admin. Okay. Okay, so draw face. Yep, that's fine. Drastic drop off. Um, Stand of haze, anything? Nope. Flip up. Shadow Hedgehog. Activate Flip. Hedgehog effect. That is fine. Hedgehog's going to grab me. Fresh Shadow Incarnation. Um, that's fine. Is it like I'm not likely to go back into my deck? How many like the top? Let's go 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So, going to end battle phase. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be taking and 36, correct? 36, yep. Bring down to. Yep. I'll then. Set one back row, mm -hmm. set one monster, mm -hmm. I'll then pass into you. Uh, I'll draw for turn. Um... Yeah. Hmm. I'll like take Sanctuary, pass shot and pass. Okay. I'll draw for turn. Anything on draw? Nope. Cool. Enter battle phase. I will take the 36. Then I will super polymerization. Uh, that is fine, and we'll go to game two. <laughs> oh, that's super poly. Oh. That's super poly hurt. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay, so I've seen the partial stuff. 
What made you decide not to play the uh, Drytron version? Uh, I was going to go Drytron, full power Drytron. I was going to go Drytron, but I found that the deck was very lackluster with just the stuff that I pulled. Because I need the ritual spell for it to be really, really good. But because I didn't pull the ritual spell, the deck just doesn't function as well as I would like it to. So I decided to just kit stick with uh, the Counter Fairy, which was the backup plan anyway. Because Counter Fairy on its own is a very solid deck, as long as you win the die roll. <laughs> um, but I just felt like staying with Counter Fairy was just a lot more safe than going with Drytron in the end. So I chose to continue with uh, Counter Fairy. Like uh, next op next openings, I could get different. I could change completely. But right now, it's just like okay, Counter Fairy is the strat that we're going for. So I've planned for purchases with that. Cool. I've oh, I've got about six different options that I could go ahead with um, for next month. But I honestly have no idea because I could get like, really sweaty with it, or I could try and do something fun with it. But I have no idea. Oh, it's really up to you, isn't it? If you feel like you yeah. want to go uh, absolutely sweaty and degenerate, go ahead. To be honest, the, like the thing that I've noticed in this tournament is that a lot of people have gone for Shadows as well. So, oh, yeah, like I haven't seen a single Dino actually. Yeah, no Dino, which is surprising. Like I, I saw like when I, I when I saw your video, I was like, okay, he's playing the good Shadow deck. When I um, when I saw. Then I played round two, and I end up going up against Machina Shadows, and it's just like, nanny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, I see a lot of people going for Shadows. Um, how many do you want me to cut the top? Uh, go for ten. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> oh wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go with, you know what, let's go with an odd number, eleven. <laughs> three, four, five, six. All right, so I will be going first. And your choice. I'll be going first. Oh, what is it? Yeah. Um, oh, wait, why has my webcam come off? Uh, one second. Oh, wait, no, it's I'm back. everything. No, my uh, my recording webcam, it just cut Bye. for a minute there. Weird. Oh, well, it's fine. It's still on. It's back on now. Okay, so let's see what we got. Okay, so I'm going to start off by... Activating Sanctuary of Pasha. Yep. Then I'm going to normal summon Meltia, the Sage of the Sky. I'm going to set one card face down and I'm going yep. to pass it over to you. Okay. Uh, draw face. Yep. Fine. Okay, I actually don't know what either of your face-up cards do. Can you please explain? Them? Okay, Meltia is whenever a counter trap is activated, I can gain 1,000 life points, and if Sanctuary of the Sky is on the board, I can destroy one card you control. Sanctuary of Parshaft counts as Sanctuary of the Sky while it's on the field. All fairy monsters gain 300 attack and defense. Set spell and trap cards I control cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. And once per turn, I can target uh, three fairies or three counter traps in any order um, to place them on top of my deck in any order. Okay, cool. Uh, and what's the attack on your monster? Uh, 1900 currently. Oh, diggy damn, that's pretty good. Yep. I will know some mathematician. Uh, are you using Mathematician's Effect? I am. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and chain Recall. So you draw a card, the card is negated, and it's destroyed. Uh, so Melty will trigger as well, and I will gain 1,000 life points. You make a two. Uh, yeah, I'm taking the draw yet. Yeah, I've got 5,000 and so you just write down the life points correctly. And then you're fine. This is the draw from Recall. Yep. It's not what I would like. Pass turn. Okay. Uh, drop turn. I'm going to hmm. set one card face down. Then normal summon guiding Ariadne. Yep. And then I'll enter the battle phase, attacking you for 19 and 2k, so 3900. So it's 41. Ow, my most of me. There and I'm going to pass turn. Anything on draw? No. Uh, set one monster. Mm -hmm. Set one back row. 
Okay. I'm passing to you. Okay, I drop ten. Hmm. Five points. Do that. Just that. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and activate ties to the brethren, targeting my Meltia. So I pay Ooh, two thousand life points, and I'll special summon two fairies from a deck. I'm going to special summon Bountiful Artemis. Yep. And where is it? Minerva Scholar of the Sky. Cool. Uh, can you remind me the effect of Minerva Scholar of the Sky, please? Uh, Minerva's effect is whenever a counter trap is activated, it will gain 500 attack. And if Sanctuary of the Sky is face up on the field, uh, I will be able to add one counter trap from my graveyard to my hand. Fantastic. Cool. Um, so after that, though, I will fast turn. Cool. Hey, uh, on your draw phase, I will. Mm, I'll go ahead and activate the drastic drop off. Drop off. And then I will trigger all my effects once you have sent it to grave. Yes, it was a shadow fusion. I was waiting. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> so trigger all, all my effects. So I'll gain one thousand life points, and I'll destroy one card you control, which will be your set spell and trap card. So that's actually a new chain, correct? Uh, no, it's not a new chain. It's just uh, an effect that will trigger as soon as a counter trap is activated. So it's like in, in the response to the counter trap. It's, uh, it's like a floating effect, so it doesn't activate. Okay, so it's not actually an effect. Okay. Yeah, so, so destroy that will this. be destroyed. Bountiful Artemis will draw me a card. Uh, Scholar of the Sky will gain 500 dive points. Is it fine if I use a dice to signify the game? Yes. Cool. Uh, and then I'll add a counter trap from my graveyard to my hand, which will be And you can continue. Um, I'll do my best. Mm. I will. Uh, no summon called Shell Chaos. Uh, that is fine. Flip up Shell Slaughter. Okay. Uh, that goes in the extra monster zone. Oh, sorry, yeah. It's a monster. Apologies. Um, activate the effect for Shell Construct. Uh, what is the exact text on the Shell Construct, may I ask? So, uh, during your main phase, you can fusion some one Shadow fusion monster from your extra deck using materials from your hand or field of fusion material. Okay. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send one Shadow card from the hand or face up to the graveyard. If you do specials on this card, you can now use each effect on the graveyard. Okay, that's fine. So, after effect. Yep. Use itself and uh, shall we go into uh, Elf Shell Contract. That's fine. Uh, chain link one contract chain link two beast. Uh, that is fine. Uh, chain link two beast is draw. Chain link one contract. Uh, to do here. I guess the answer is deck thin. Um, so send Squarter. Okay. Fetch Squarter. Okay. To fetch me a. Or send me a dragon. Yep. And dragon's effect will uh, target your face up. Yep. Okay, and how many do you like at the top? Uh, 10. Okay, uh, I apologise. Oh, it's fine. Take your turn. Banish Light in the Dark. Ooh, BLS. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Banish Light in the Dark. Oh, wow. Two BLS. Are you serious? Wow, this is dirty. <laughs> um, Bounce Fastness, does it trigger if. Um, strong battle or card effect. None of them had. Uh, Guarding Ariadne gives me an effect when it's destroyed. I'll get to reveal three counter traps and add one to hand. And you choose one to add to my hand. Okie dokie. 
Um, and what are the attacks on monster on board? Uh, 20, 22, 16, 16, 17. 16, 17. I'm joking. Uh, enter the battle phase. Sure. Um, BLS will attack over your 22. Okay, so I'll take 800. 800, put you down to 17. Uh, then effect to attack again. Yep. What will you uh, attack? attack. Uh, whatever's on 17. Guiding Ariadne. So Guiding Ariadne will trigger after I take the 13 and I'll reveal three counter trap from my deck. So I'm going to go ahead and reveal... Hmm. Reveal Divine Punishment, Divine Punishment... And... Uh, drastic drop off. And it's random which one you get, or? Uh, you choose, I believe. A drastic drop off. Uh, if this card is destroyed, you can reveal three counter from deck. Your opponent chooses one. So do I get the drastic drop off. And then the other two are shuffled back into the deck. Uh, how much off the top? Uh, three. One of those things. Uh, then. Uh, second BLS to clear and tap on I will take the 28. Uh, fast I will take the 28. <laughs> You'll take 28. Uh, so it puts you down to what? Is that? 31, and then the construct 46. will. Uh, no, it's 31. 31, okay. Yeah, because you attack for. Tw I was on uh, 28. I was on. Oh, yeah, the second BLS attack. Yeah. yeah. So, and then I'll take 28 from your construct as well. So and that puts you down to. A healthy 300. Yep. Um. Fast Okay. Heart of the cards. Uh. Okay. You know what? Normal summon guiding area, aren't they? Nice. Attack construct for game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had nothing. Uh, man. I, 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 I Jesus. had nothing. I had two Sanctuary in the Sky, and then I drew that. Double BLS was deadly! Yeah, and I drew it for turn. Yeah. And I had the turn before I got El Oh, uh. that sucked. Oh, well, it's fine. I understand how this beat. Anyway, uh, GG, though. Uh, I was... I was XO. Ah, it... oh, man. Sorry to take you down. No, it's fine. I understand. Like, I knew I was going to have a hard time against... Um, uh, the super poly and stuff, and I, you know what? I remember. <laughs> I, I only just remembered that you were playing triple BLS as well, so it's just like oh, uh, double, double, double double BLS. Sorry, yeah, and it was just like, oh my god, no, he actually has the second one. Oh no, uh, yeah. Anyway, the other two in hand or just other stuff. But yeah, thank you very much for the game, sir. You too as well. Thank you very much. That was a uh, I will I will say good game. I will say <laughs> good game, but even though I lost. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah gg man um yeah that's uh thank you everyone who came out to watch uh signing out